Hello world and welcome to another Crash Bike Studios video tutorial where everything I shoot is in HD. <laughs> but to get serious, I'm going to be showing you guys something in Cinema 4D that I think is very cool. How to use a camera setup along with a stage. And what a stage allows you to do is to kind of uh, use different views of cameras. Um, so if you have a scene where um, let me load up one really quick. I have a set a uh, scene set up right here using a stage and what you have to basically this is like really easy to use so I'm gonna run through the animation really quick just so you guys can see it. Um, yeah so basically I made it so that it looks like it comes in slows down a little bit so that you can see the text there is text on there it's just you can't see it then it switch automatically to a different camera and then boom your grenade explodes okay um, I'm gonna delete a few things here just because it's making my scene run extremely uh, slow uh, so I'm gonna back it up again maybe this will show a little bit better yep you can see the text there it slows down so you can read it a little bit and then it flies off into another camera view and it's still in a little bit of slow motion uh, so I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a scene like this so when you're in Cinema 4D uh, what you wanna make sure is is when you make a new camera all of these positions are gonna be put into your view so if I uh, zoom out here for a second it's gonna be pointing into the position that we were originally looking at it's not going to be in the point of origin or the center of our scene. So in position X, 0, Y, 0, Z, 0. Um, but we're still not done because as you can see, it's kind of pointing down at an angle. So you want to get rid of all these angles and put them back down to 0 again. Just hit apply and your camera should be centered. Um, I'm pretty sure there's probably an easier way to do that, but this, as far as I know, is the only way I know how to do it. Um, so we're gonna bring back our scene camera really quick, okay? Um, the reason why we put it in the middle is because you know we want to have a little bit more control of where our camera is and we want it to be set to uh, I don't know like exact um, measurements I guess you could say. Uh, so Let's start off by making uh, a plane, okay? Uh, make it however big you want it. I'm gonna make it 2,000 by 2,000. It seems a little bit big, but it's not too bad. And I'm gonna make a sphere. And I'm gonna raise it up above the uh, ground here. Uh, so that looks good actually so pretty sexy and uh, what we're gonna do is we need to position the camera uh, kind of above where the ball is going to drop uh, so just raise your camera a little bit tilt it down kind of pointing towards the origin because that's where the ball is going to hit. Now I can, I can already tell that I'm not going to like this resolution, so I'm just going to put it to my normal resolution real quick. Okay, so now the camera is automatically adjusted to that, so you don't have to make any more adjustments. I'm going to bring mine out a little bit. Okay, now, what we're going to do in order to simulate the ball dropping is we're gonna right click on the sphere go to simulation tags if you're using uh, R13 R I think 12 is the same and R11.5 is um, under dynamics tags I believe uh, simulation tags rigid body okay now you don't need to make any changes to this uh, go under plane right click simulation tags rigid body um, but you're gonna see as we click play 
not only does the ball drop, but the floor does as well. So in order to fix this problem, uh, in dynamics here, click from on to off. And it'll change from a white ball, which is up here, to a solid. And that's pretty cool. Although, I am going to change some settings in the uh, collision. I'm going to put that to about 60%. Just that way it balances a little bit more. There you go. Maybe even 75%. All right, so that, that's pretty cool. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna set the frame rate from 90 frames per second to about 200 for now. Seem, I know it seems a little excessive, but once we put it into slow motion, it's not, it, it doesn't automatically adjust the timeline for you. You kinda have to do it yourself, um, but uh, now go into edit uh, project settings yes project settings okay and go into the, the dynamics tag my apologies and you can set that to whatever you want I'm gonna try 60% right now and see how that works that's not nearly enough so I'm gonna set it to 40 That's really good. Okay, that's actually almost perfect because by the time you get to there, yeah, that's good. Really good. All right, so now that we have our project pretty much set up, what we can do is um, kind of set up our scene a little bit better. Uh, so n we've got our first camera set up right there, as you can see, but let's make another one. And let's go zero, 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 apply. Okay? Now, with the rotate object tool and the green bar highlighted, click it and press shift or hold shift and rotate it 90 degrees. Now, take your move tool and move it back. Now, Let's zoom out a little bit. Bring this up to where it's in the center of the ball. Um, click into here. And that, that dot right there should be in the center, which that's about the center. Okay? So, what we can do is we can actually keyframe this um, to be pretty cool looking. Um, so we're going to set a keyframe for this camera right here. And we're going to let this play. Okay. And oops, my bad. So let it play. And right about there uh, maybe a little bit back. Sorry. I didn't have a good view on it. So right about there. Whoa. Okay, so right about there, you're going to put that back into the center, and you're going to keyframe it, okay? So that just animates the... Hmm. Anyway, that just animates the camera. Um, I don't know why it's not going at the same velocity as the ball so right there we need to bring that back up right there we need to bring that back up right there we need to bring that back up and right there we need to bring that back up should work now okay good um, it's not supposed to go all the way down with it 
it's just supposed to uh, follow the ball as it travels down. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that looks pretty good. Let me check my time here. Oh, I'm hitting the 10 minute mark. Um, so, yeah. Let me stop this video really quick and then I'll post the other half of this, okay?